throw yourself away I can breathe alone It's not for you to say What I have or don't It's not like I can understand the reasons why you had to cause me pain And in the end it doesn't really mean That I should be this way That I should be this way Sorry that I am what you hate to see Take a look around You're just as fucked as me What would work make me walk away? I'm still too blind for myself to see I've never had the will to let you go I just can't let you be I just can't let you be Time to see To show you what you are Time to see to show you what you are Time to see To show you what you are It's not like I can understand the reasons that You had to cause me pain but in the end it didn't really mean I had to stay that way Oh There were things that made me walk away I stopped being so blind And in the end I didn't it end the life that I still have I'm sorry for those words to make them up myself <laughs> I didn't sing that quite how I wanted to but I have got blocked ears and I don't really know what it sounded like I do think I sing it differently sometimes but that song has so much meaning to me I've always wanted to sort of change the end because I've learnt how to let people go. I've learnt how to let them be who they are. It's took me a long time and there's been times where because of that I've let other people down, myself included. Um, but that was me learning along the way. And over the years there's been other, there's been different people that I sort of am singing that to and the fact that I am breathing I'm breathing well I've had swollen hands this morning and my eyes are very very sore my ears are still weeping and, uh, haven't had awful IBS either, that's quite good, but my knees are a bit bad, but um, I'm doing alright.
I've been thinking about how how we're too blind to see things sometimes. But I was reading I was reading this suicide note in my book earlier. I actually read it onto a tape but it's not something to share. The whole tape isn't something to share. Um, And it was, I was looking at how I was looking for help outside of myself at that moment. I found it inside through meditation, through a lot of journaling. Journaling's been my, one of my saving graces has been several. Um, yeah, I was just, I was really quite suicidal around April 2006. Um, 21st of April 2006. I'm sat in the, tea, in the Masonic Hall in Milford. I don't know what I'm doing here. I have thought all day about how to kill myself. A knife in my heart. No, that's not going to work. Couldn't slip the wrists. I'm adding, ad -libbing. Pills. No. Yeah. Hose pipe in the exhaust pipe. I'm numb. I had a bath. I went through the motions. I got dressed. I'm sat on my own. There are people here I know I could I know could talk to. <coughs> Why am I here? Why? Why the fuck should I care about anything or anyone anymore? It's all so futile. I've been thinking of when I leave the gig. Going and finding a hose pipe and going somewhere remote. Putting myself out of my misery. I know I can, then go and regret it in the light or just feel relieved. I didn't need I don't need to be stuck. I know many people will be pissed off with me, but I'm sorry I can't let that stop me from leaving a sorry excuse for a life. No one can make it all go away. No one can make me feel that it's worth staying to carry on, struggling and having no help, no bright future, no happy ending. Fuck. I know I try to help people when they feel like I do, and I have done for and have done for the last few days and on and off throughout my miserable fucking life <laughs> I, I, uh, I've worked through the feelings a bit more now so you know um, is it my my I'm doing it wrong I'm making my life miserable I've had lots of help to make my life feel not worth living Inside I'm crying, screaming, raging. Yet I sit here calmly writing another goodbye to the world. Shutting down, not joining in, not wanting anyone to come and talk to me. Desperately wanting not to feel lonely and in emotional turmoil. How did I do it before? I wanted to fight for vulnerable people and to fight for myself. I have given up. What's the point? Wow, yeah, I was going to write books for inspiration. Uh, be an inspiration, be a shining light to help others. No one wants to shine the light for me. Obviously not, because no one can shine the light for, for you. We all have to do that ourselves. I can't even get pissed because I've got the car. But if I'm really going to end my life, what does it matter? But why would anyone want to talk to me for anyway? Here I sit, broken hearted, broken, no one wants to know, no one will really miss me. Yes, I feel sorry for myself, yes, I don't want to. I want to see life as a precious thing. I want to love life again. I don't want to despise it and dread living it anymore. The easy way out. Is it easy to feel that death is the only answer to put an end to the suffering? It's weird the way the mind works. I've been here all of nearly an hour and smoking my third fag and then I talk about a girl in college called Chloe um, who smoked fag after fag and I always loved her name
and then I was talking about being happy when my baby girl was born. I felt that I had my little girl, life was worth living. And at that time, at that time, she was telling people she hates me <laughs> and how absurd I feel like life is not worth living. So I come to a gig and I feel dead even though I am indeed alive. Fuck. <laughs> and then Friday the 5th of May, I've been and had some um, good therapy. But, um, everything I was looking for outside was inside and it's taken me this long to get there to find most to find it mostly I mean I still cry and I still have emotions that's just being human in it and there's stuff that I'm going through at the moment um, like everybody else is whatever it is whatever everyone's shit is we're all going through stuff we're all having to face fears we're all <clears throat> we're all having to deal with what life is for us oh, I don't want you ball I really don't want you ball Can you give mummy huggles, do you? Mm. There's no food about, so what are you after? Mm. Watch my back. Thank you. Oh, get your nose out of my cup. Let me have a cup of tea. Okay, okay. Do you want to go wee wees, do you? Would you like to go wee wees? Yes, I thought so. Okay, bye.